what happened in the days after. What do you mean? Look, you know why I'm here and you know that I've got to ask you these questions. What do you do in the morning? That's irrelevant. Is it? What did you do at the weekend? What did you see? You ask me about the days after as if they don't mean anything. As if they merge into one. I ask about your weekend because I don't think you remember what you did. I don't think you would even remember what you did just before you came into this room. I poured myself a coffee and I spent the weekend with my wife. Is that what you want to hear? But what did you do? You don't know, do you? You can't remember. Can you? <laughs> Have you ever woken up and felt like you were outside of your body? Outside of the constraints of your physicality? Like you were a case, a, a shell for something more? Have you ever looked at the texture of your clothes and had to catch your breath at their beauty? Do you know what I do? Watch you. Wait until the weekend, I suppose, and get your kicks, is that right? No. I look at the clock just before I get out of bed. It's made of plastic and it's a blue outer rim that's scratched. Mostly just on the top right-hand side. Then out of my window, a woman walks past. Late. She has a bag in her left hand. Sounds exhilarating. More exhilarating than nothing. More exhilarating than thinking of the days and weeks as one continuous chore. Of waiting for the one holiday you have every year, counting down time as if it couldn't pass fast enough. I watch the woman across the road rushing out of her house. She carries a small boy in her right arm. He has a blue flower in his pocket and his shoelaces are blowing in the breeze. I hear my kettle as it boils, and it sounds like a waterfall. And this happens to you every day? No. This happened to me just before I came here. Okay, what is it about these things? I mean, why won't you tell me what's really going on? I do not see things. Not anymore. Do you really want to know what I see? I see the universe. I see... I see beauty, but more than that, I understand what it means to be outside of those things. To be outside of existence, to be outside of time. 
to live presently, always. The clock that I see, the woman that's always late, the boy with the flower, the food that I eat, even the coffee in your hand, they now mean something to me. They mean the world. They mean everything. Do you see that? Do you understand why you are here? I see beauty and I see existence. And I ask you again. What do you see?